I would like to share with you how Kalidiasis amounted into a spiritual journey for me. And I hope, I sincerely hope that with this video I can help other people with Kalidiasis because it can be such a big problem in your life. Candidiasis is this um, this disease where candida, it's a yeast actually, it's growing in our bodies and um, it's, it's natural, it's normal, most people have candida, candida in their bodies um, but then in some people it just overgrows there's too much candida and this uh, makes for a lot of very nasty symptoms. For me, I've been having candidiasis from my 14th on and I noticed this by having recurrent vaginal infections. During the last six years, I've tried so many different measures for solving this problem. I um, started uh, using sanitary napkins instead of tampons. I took a copper IUD instead of birth control pills. I started wearing only cotton panties. I uh, also don't wash with soap. I started having less sex. And I also did the Canada diet, which is so hard because I'm also vegan. <laughs> But yeah, I'm on that right now and I still do the other measures, but it's just like, it just doesn't do it for me. And then also conventional medicine, which is actually also just, you know, fighting symptoms and not really going to the cause. But yes, I also use a lot of conventional medicine, also just preventative, but I now notice that it's um, the candida is getting resistant to it and I use more and more and more just to solve the problems temporarily so that's where I am right now and this has actually brought me to the point where I am now recognizing this disease as something that you know I just try to accept that I brought this disease into my life myself I, I manifested it and this is a hard thing for me to accept because it's been such a big emotional problem during my life I just didn't know how to deal with it but yeah I'm, I'm just trying to accept it <laughs> you know <laughs> um, right now I'm at this point where I start to believe that this disease is also a symptom because why do other people with a lot more you know um, candida boosting lifestyle not have these infections like I do there must be an underlying cause why candida causes infections in me Looking for the real cause of my candida is my spiritual quest on this moment. Um, maybe it's got to do with uh, my belief systems, like maybe there's something negative in my belief systems that I would like to change. Um, I think that's maybe about self-love and um, Maybe I have to believe, <laughs> probably <laughs> have to believe that I am not worthy and deserving of perfect help. And I'm willing to change that and I'm willing to learn how to change that. So that's, that's the spiritual quest that I'm on. I'm actually at the point where I am becoming grateful to my disease for putting me on this trail <laughs> and that's that's just amazing seriously <laughs> I, 
I nearly, nearly have to cry right now for saying this. Because I've been hating my body for so long, like... Really not accepting this disease into my life and trying to fight it and... Wow, it's been such a long journey coming here and I've been having so much pain. And now I'm finally moving into this place of acceptance and love and light. That's just where I am right now. Very happy to be here. And I would wish to everyone who is in the position that I was in like a year ago to also reach this point. I mean, probably everyone has his, has his or her own path in this. Um, but I hope I can sort of inspire you. That's all. Um, that's all for now because this is where I am right now. And I hope there will be a part two on this subject. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly I did. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>